In Chapter 4-1 of Radiant Dawn, we switch to the Grail Mercenaries, or rather, the singular one Grail Mercenary who was also traveling to the Tower of Guidance. After camping for the night, the Disciples of Order suddenly teleport in to attack. In theory, you're supposed to field a large and varied army to face these foes, but I have decided to allocate exactly zero resources to this group. While the other armies get strong pre-promotes as crutch characters, this one gets Ike, who is a rare example of a crutch protagonist. Ike is one of the best combat units in the entire game because of his high stats and the Ragnell, a 1-2 range legendary sword with high damage and a plus 5 defense bonus. Most of the enemies on this map deal physical damage and they are no real threat to Ike. There are a couple of mages who can be a concern because Ike's resistance is low, but they can be dealt with with pure waters and careful play. I decided to use both the Grill Mercenary maps to power level Ike, who has just recently received his tier 3 promotion. To do this, I equip him with the Blossom skill, which halves XP gain, but in exchange, it rerolls all missed stats growths for each level up, giving him many more stats per level. Ike slaughters the entire map for experience, using vulnerabilities and the ether skill to heal. All I really have to do is carefully watch out for the mages to make sure I don't fight too many of them every turn, and very quickly the map is cleared. After defeating 67 enemies, Ike has managed to reach level 9 and is on track to cap most of his stats. 